What's going on? It's your boy D-Moy here. We are in Crunch Fitness in Lakewood, Florida. So uh, today is what, week? Week four? Week four, week five? How long we've been training so far together? Huh? Can you hear me? No? Okay. So week four, I'm just guessing. It's gotta be week four, week five. So, so far my wife is, is down about 11, 12 pounds. Um, so she's doing pretty good. We're moving at a steady pace. So the goal is set, we're following the goal. The plan is set, we're following the plan. Today we'll be doing legs. Um, we're gonna start with squats. Um, I am old, not really, but I feel old sometimes. I'm 40, so I can't do what I used to do when I was in my early, my late 20s. You know, I can't function like that. I can't just come off the street walking here and then just start moving some weight, which is not good no matter how old you are. But um, yeah, I need to warm my body up, focus on dynamic stretching, get my hips loose, get everything fluid before I start actually putting myself under some weight. So we did about 15 minutes on a treadmill just to warm up at about three, 3.5, slight incline just to get the heart rate up a little bit, get the body nice and loose. Right now I'm doing some stretching. Um, usually what I do is I'll do some, some uh, dynamic stretching and I'll do some overextended lunges. But with my toe right now, I can't really lunge. So we're gonna do a little, some, some, we're gonna do something a little different. Some side, side lunge stretches, um, rotating from side to side. And then from there, we're gonna go into some uh, squats, some barbell squats. About, uh, about anywhere between six to eight sets. It all depends on how we feel and how it goes. And then from there, we're gonna go to some accessory movements and some functional training. I always like to finish with some functional training. Dizzy again. Vertigo is rough. But we're gonna work through it. No excuses. Alright, let's go. down to like the finishing line so I just wanted to explain you know how I'm executing these leg presses so my wife will be doing both legs at the same time I'll be doing one leg and the reasoning behind that it's two reasons first reason is my wife is strong but I am still stronger than her so this will kill time on us kind of changing out the weights. Um, what she can push for two legs for a good amount of reps, because we're not maxing out, I can push with one leg. So instead of me having to take weight off when it's my time or put out weight on when it's my time, I could just push whatever she's pushing with her increase using one leg. And then the second reason is unilateral training is good for, you know, 
improving your overall balance, you know, your overall stability, and also an excellent way to improve your, your speed, your maximum speed, your maximum speed and overall explosive um, execution because you're focusing on one side while trying to also keep your body stabilized in a locked in position. So you really get a chance to really work those muscles and focus on positioning and execution for that one side. All right, so this is my uh, first set. I'm starting with two uh, 245s on each side. We're gonna do four sets. All right, let's get it. that's a wrap we finished with uh some step up to knee raises some regular step ups uh the plan was to do them explosively so fast pace but i have the issue with my toe so because i had to slow it down on my right leg i might as well just slow it down on my left as well and then we did a uh, single leg squats and side shuffles on the platform three sets 10 reps each side so so far we've done back we've done legs so we'll probably do chest uh next video and uh i'll show you how i plan my workout for that with me having to train my wife and work out at the same time to make it beneficial for her as well for me so how i modify certain things how i make things work without having to overcomplicate things and still make it like effective to me without even having to add a lot of weight. Because like you can see, when I did squats, I did 315. I can obviously do more than 315, but as you saw when I did it, I slowed it down. Some of the reps, I kind of slowed it down a little too slow. Kind of caught myself on a decline, got stuck for a little bit, but I knew I was able to get it up. But I wanted it to be a, like a consistent, you know, a consistent motion, four to five, well, three to five count down, boom, slight pause, Sometimes I slow it down. I slowed it down a little too much. Kind of got stuck stuck on the on the low point, and um, really had to uh, push a little more than I wanted to, which I exerted more energy than I wanted to. So as you saw, I only got about six reps, which caused me getting dizzy because again I suffer with vertigo. So you know that's another thing that I battle with, and I got to work around. So time under tension with a lot of weight sometimes triggers it follow me more fit for you on all platforms you know follow me on instagram youtube um facebook yeah man more fit for you let's get it get it, get it.